there are some additional precautions to consider when working on pumps. This section will go over most of the common precautions, including Isolation protections Electrocution hazards Rotating hazards Heavy item hazards And flooding hazards It is important when working on equipment to ensure that it cannot be accidentally operated while it is being worked on. All start-slash-stop switches must be either locked in the stop position to prevent operation, or clearly tagged that they must not be operated under any circumstances while the maintenance procedures are being executed. In addition, it is a good practice to lock closed, or tag the electrical control panel that supplies electricity to the pump to prevent electrocution or accidental starting of the pump. Any supply and discharge valves must also be closed and tagged to prevent them from being opened while the pump is being worked on. Opening a valve while the pump is being worked on could cause flooding or other damage. Furthermore, if the valve upstream of the pump is opened, any fluid under pressure in the line upstream of the valve could be released and injure the person working on the pump, or damage equipment. Pumps are most often powered by electrical motors and operate in spaces that are typically wet. Because moisture and electricity can create dangerous conditions. It is important to electrically isolate the equipment that you are working on. You should also electrically isolate other electrical equipment nearby, that may become wet when the pump piping connections are disconnected, and when the pump case is opened. It is also important to use rubber matting to stand on, while working with electric connections to prevent electrocution. The shaft that connects the centrifugal pump to its prime mover, which is usually an electric motor, poses a rotating equipment hazard while the pump is operating. Because it is a safety hazard. Most shafts are equipped with a safety shield. This shield will usually have to be removed during maintenance and alignment. You must thus take special care to ensure that the pump is not operated until this shield is in place and properly installed. The shield acts as a safety barrier that prevents metal shrapnel from being ejected around the pump, in case the pump coupling fails. Pumps and related components can be very heavy, and attempts to lift them may cause personal injury. It is very important to lift heavy items with a partner. Or to use a lifting device such as a chain fall. An overhead crane. Or, a forklift to move large heavy items associated with pumps. Centrifugal pumps are used to move fluids. The pumps are usually installed as part of a piping system, and when piping connections are disconnected, or the pump casing is opened, there exists a possibility of flooding. If the fluid is under any pressure, it may be very difficult to stop or slow the flooding before significant damage or injury occurs. If the fluid is flammable, it can create a very dangerous situation in the area where the flooding occurs. It is very important to do the following before beginning any work on a pump. 1. Ensure the pump is off and locked or tagged out. 2. Ensure all valves on the inlet and discharge side are closed and locked or tagged out. 3. Ensure that all pressure is relieved from the open sections of the piping system and pump casing. 4. Any fluid in the pump casing must be drained into an appropriate container. Review questions Which of the following is a hazard when working on pumps? Right answer When working on a pump that uses an electric motor as the prime mover, what material should you stand on during repairs? Right answer